We're a better place to do the Dublin player ratings than standing over the River Liffey Convention Centre just behind me there, standing here on the Beckett Bridge. Uh, Cluxton has to be a 9 out of 10. Absolutely unbelievable performance. Command of anything that went in high in the air. In the first eight minutes, I think Kerry put in four balls high and uh, he came out with a couple of them. Also, I'd say from Stephen O'Brien in the second half. It was straight at him, but he did it exceptionally well. And uh, Jim Gavin was talking afterwards about the amount of hours, like he spent two hours just working on on his uh, footwork after the drawn final when Killian Spillane had scored the goal on him and just that he's there with the laptop doing slow motion, looking at his footwork, all this type of stuff. So real dedication and uh, it showed today. Exceptional performance. Davy Byrne, I think Davy Byrne probably just doesn't get enough credit for, for how he plays. I thought he was really good in the drawn final. I thought he was very good again. Uh, somewhere between a 7 and 8 out of 10. I'll just go with 8. Michael Fitzsimons, I know he had a bit of trouble with... Uh, with Connor or David Clifford, who kicked three points in the first half, all off his right foot, but I thought he was very good, excellent in the first uh, day, and I think an eight out of ten. Johnny Cooper, at times, looks a little bit unsure on the ball, and like that was seen in the first game, and I think Kerry at times wanted him to have the ball. But as the game wore on, I thought he got more and more comfortable in possession and moved it really well. And I think some were 7.5, 8 out of 10 as well. I think that's fair. Jack McCaffrey obviously went off injured at halftime, so that's not how he'd want his final to end. Uh, 7 out of 10. James McCarthy, I thought an awful lot of uncharacteristic errors from James in the first half. Absolutely unbelievable player. And did really, really, like thundered into the game as it got, uh, went on to, uh, later in the second half. Got a beautiful score. But I think he had a lot of unforced errors, ball spilling out of his hand, that type of thing. So I'm just going to go with a 6 out of 10 there. John Small as well. I know his man probably didn't do a whole pile, maybe 6 out of 10. Uh, Brian Fenton, very quiet in the drawing game. Did a little bit more here. Set up a couple of nice scores at different times. Um, I'm going to give him, a, uh, I'd say I'd just about go with a 7. Uh, Owen Merchant, who came in. Um, in place of Michael Darren McCauley. Obviously didn't play there. He was marking at times, he was sweeping at times, he was carrying the ball out so much. Really good play and obviously at the start of the second half had that burst forward. David Moore won the throw in. He burst forward with the ball, collected it from the sort of centre centre back position and beautiful finish with the outside of the foot. So going to give uh, Owen Merchant 9 out of 10. Niles Scully, you know, bits and pieces, kept the ball moving, kick passes left and right. Did, did okay, 7 out of 10, got a point. Kieran Kilkenny, very quiet in the drawing game. I felt he didn't do too much that had a lot of penetration about it but three points in the first half here, uh, you know, making big statements when it mattered early on. Going to give him um, an 8 out of 10. Brian Howard, definitely better in the drawing game, like did some unbelievable stuff. There was one ball near the end of this game today whereby his kick out, 50-50 ball went up in the air and after the ball had spilled, he, he somehow managed to... You can walk past. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, he somehow managed to still collect the break. Um, Paul Mannion got three brilliant scores. Had a couple to drop short, but still, I give him uh, eight out of ten. Conor Callahan, absolutely brilliant, scored four points. Just constantly turning, driving at his man. Had um, he had Tom O'Sullivan and all sorts of bother, and later on, um, Tyg Morley and Dean Rock. Two points from play, kicked to 45, but I'd say seven out of ten. Plenty of subs came on. Dear McConnelly is the one that everyone will talk about. He had a couple of good interventions, but. <laughs> kind of messed up that goal chance at the end had a couple of other little fluffs at one stage spill possession and give away the ball uh, so probably just a 6 out of 10 for him which not a, every Dublin fan will agree with but there you go that's the, that's the Dublin team and I think probably man of the match for me Owen Merchant